I'm sorry. Sunberry.exe has stopped working. Please try again later. We're back. We're grinding. We are going to be building some saddles. We're going to try and go for a trike uh, and a raptor first. One of the two. We're going to end this video when I get at least one of those things going. Um, we will figure out what thing we're going to get based on kind of availability and accessibility in this case. Uh, I am so sorry, Dodos, but you are just making this too easy. And I will not say no to free resources. Okay, so we're going to kind of figure out what's near us and what would be worth taming. We could go back the direction we came, avoiding Carnotaurus, and go get a raptor. Because uh, there were a bunch over there. So if we could get one by itself, it's really not that difficult. It's mostly just trapping the thing. And we have some bolas, so that would help. Um, we could also tame some dillos for early protection. But I don't think that would be super worth our time. Uh, I like dillos. I think they're fun when you have a whole team of them. But you really kind of want to jump a little higher than that where possible. They're definitely a good early game pickup, but they're not the best. So I think we're actually just going to hunt this one for the experience. Um, that's also a Dillo. Okay. I thought it was that was a Raptor and I was like, oh Jesus. A Raptor would have probably aggroed from much farther away to be fair. So aim, fire, and miss entirely. I fired, then I missed, then I missed, then I fired again, and I missed again. <laughs> nice. That wasn't so bad. All right, that guy is just like, hey, you killed my friend. Well, time for you too, buddy. Headshots. Yeah, that feels good. Oh, nope, here's another one. Boink. Now, Ark is one of those games where you really want to, uh, where you really want to be shooting from range as much as possible, unless you have a stronger mount doing the melee damage for you. There's a couple of melee options that you can get, like there's uh, some pikes and things like that. But in general, you really don't want to be doing much of this shooting yourself. Let's see what we got here. Still so thankful for the spyglass we got early. What, what level are you? You flew away too fast. Get back here. A pterodon would be really nice to tame uh, early on, so we can have a quick flying mount to start getting around places faster. Level 5 is not ideal, but that's fine. We'll leave you alone. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, here's another Dillo. We could probably get that. As well. Oh, nope, you're a Dillo. Hello. Well, and you're mate boosted by that little guy, huh? Oh, nope, nope, we don't want that. No, no poison, please. No spit. Uh, we need, we need six feet distance. Still being safe out there, you know. Alright, let's see. We got a bunch of parasaurs, which makes sense. Parasaurs are pretty easy to acquire. Ooh, look at that cool rock formation over there. I remember there are some dangerous creatures over here, so we're not going to get too close to it for now, but it is really neat. Ooh, is that a megalodon right there in the water? Sure is. A level one megalodon. Hmm, a tempting proposition. Not one we really need, though, and megalodons are hard to defend in the water until you have an actual, like, water establishment. So probably not a great idea, but definitely tempting. Definitely something I think about. Let's see what's over here. Trying to think about where we- oh, that, that, over there is exactly why I am trying to be cautious over here. That, over there, as you can see, is a sarco. Sarcos are, uh, large, uh, alligator creatures, uh, which theoretically did exist in the actual, uh, in the actual world, which is terrifying to think about that our modern crocs, uh, came from these giant creatures. They're very cool. They're very scary. They will ambush us uh, out of the water, so we're going to try to avoid that where possible. I'm just kind of taking a lay of the land and seeing what sort of creatures are around here that we might consider taming. We haven't gone this way yet, so I was just kind of curious what was over here. But I think we might not come back here just yet. We could go into the forest. The forest is scarier because it's denser and harder to move around, but it wouldn't be a terrible consideration. Okay, let's go. We're gonna run back toward our base. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for any dinos and I'll let y'all know if we see anything cool. Sorry, Over Raptor, you don't count. Home sweet home, lovely box in the ground. <laughs> Nothing too exciting just yet. Um, so we're probably just gonna keep harvesting uh, hide and meat and all that kind of stuff. Just to kind of get us going. 
I am hoping to end this video off on us getting at least one bigger tame. So a raptor or a trike is kind of what I'm aiming for here. Still, I'm still thinking about that carno. It's not a good idea, but I'm still thinking about it. You know what I mean? So we, we might, we might try it. I, I want to make sure I have enough to even make a carno saddle before we do that, because there's no point in taming it without a saddle. Like, you can like direct them around without a saddle. You don't need a saddle to tame. It's not a requirement, uh, like it is in some other games. But you really won't be able to do much with it otherwise. I missed. I heck it missed again. All right, well. Unfortunately, they are very good at the whole running away thing. I think I might go ahead and use the bola here. There you go. I'll just get a couple of easy headshots in. Sorry, buddy. Just the natural order of things at the moment. That's what we need to do to survive. There we go. Now, we're getting a lot out of these parasaurs. We should definitely be killing more of them for easier access. Okay, anything interesting over here? I'm not trying to go too far, because I do remember Carno is, is past these rocks, so we're, we're not going to play that dangerous a game. With the boosted rates that we have, we could consider uh, leveling up a little bit. Uh, and maybe, maybe really thinking about going for that Carno. Possible. Possible. Let's, let's work on a smithy first. There we go. I know it seems silly, but the modded one is uh, pretty significantly better, I'd say. Uh, okay, so we need a forge first. That makes sense. We need a few more stones, which I actually probably have in here. Uh, stones. Forge. Yeah, we got enough. Let's go ahead and make that. And we can start melting down the scrap metal that we got from the tech parasaur earlier. Uh, and that works just the same as regular metal ingots, so it actually saves us a bit of time uh, in crafting energy, which is really helpful. This is going to be a little... A little crowded in here, but we're just, we're gonna be okay with it. It's gonna be all right. So transfer some wood in here, transfer the metal in here, transfer the oil, transfer the scrap. There we go. And let's go ahead and make some ingots. Yay. Uh, do I need to be crafting? Oh no, I need to light it. Silly me. That's how it works. Okay. Uh, and then that needs hide. Okay. Eh. I don't think we need gasoline just yet. I'm going to hold on to the oil for now, uh, just in case. I'm going to think about what we need. I'm going to do some crafting and planning, and I will bring y'all back uh, when we start feeling a little better about our situation. Which should probably be soon. Ooh. Ooh, friends, we have a unique opportunity. Do you see that? That Carno is actually stuck between the rock and the trees. We might have to take advantage of Ark being Ark to try and get that guy. Because that's too good an opportunity to pass up. Because even if we just have him on neutral and we don't have a saddle for him yet, that is an incredible guard creature. I am very tempted. And I know we're starving. We got a bunch of meat. Just shovel those cooked steaks into your mouth. Don't think about it. Okay, he's still there. I'm, I'm super tempted to try it. Like, we have a respawn point. It's not a great idea, but boy howdy, that is just too good an opportunity to pass up. Where are my trank arrows? Got 14. Can I make any more? I can make a couple more. Alright, where, where are we at in terms of our ingrams? We're at 28. We have five more levels. Let's see, I'm going to give myself a few points in movement speed. And one more point here. There we go. I'm, I'm really thinking about it. 16 trink arrows might be enough with our current settings. Okay, here's the plan. This is not a great idea. <laughs> but here's the plan. He's stuck there. We're going to try and get a couple headshots, because that apparently does more uh, torpor damage, which is what we're going to be doing with our trink arrows. If he, if it goes south, we're going to try and run away from our base so that way he doesn't, like, destroy our stuff when we're dead. But we're going to give it a fair shot here. I'm going to see if I can get in any way. Ah, uh, there we go. This is a good spot. Okay. This isn't a perfect spot. If we can get up here, he probably can too. But we're going to give it a fucking try. Because this is super worthwhile. Okay, buddy. Just hold still. Yep, he's pissed. But he's still stuck in the tree! Ooh, we have a chance. 
I think we're hitting him in the head. I don't know if it's doing more damage or not. Oh, nope, he got unstuck. Oh no, he didn't! Ha! Oh, this is wonderful. Arc is arcing for us. Oh no, we missed. Okay, we want to at least try and hit. We don't need the headshot, but we want to at least try and hit. Okay, we're gonna go until we have no more arrows. And hopefully we get enough. We only have two more arrows, which I'm not a fan of. But maybe it'll work? Ah, damn. Ran out of arrows, and we don't have enough. I might try and run back to the base. I don't know if that'll work or not. We're gonna, we're gonna run back and see if I can make some more materials. Yeah, yeah, I know we're dehydrated. Drink. Come on, we got things to do. Okay, let's see if our luck is still holding out. He's still there. He hasn't moved. This torpor has probably gone down some. We have another eight arrows. Might be worth a try. I cannot get back up on this rock, so we're just gonna have to be ready for that. Oh no. Okay, he's still stuck. I got super scared. Oh, now I'm scared. <gasps> we fucking did it! Oh my god, he was this close to coming to get us. Oh my god. We fucking did it. Oh my god, please. Eat. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> we got ourselves a fucking Carno. Yes! Oh, you are going to be our friend. Ooh, what are we gonna call you? I'm feeling- you look like a mint. You look like a mint berry. Maybe you'll just be a mint. <laughs> Little minty boy! Oh my gosh. Okay, we do have faster taming rates, so it shouldn't take too, too long to tame here. But I'm just gonna stay here and guard him just in case, because creatures will come and attack unconscious creatures, which, you know, makes sense, nature wise. Oh, I'm gonna have to come down from those jitters. This is so ex too exciting. We are definitely gonna focus on getting some more levels, uh, and hopefully we can uh, get this guy a saddle real soon and we can go around and mess some shit up. <laughs> I'll bring you back when he's tamed. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Minty. Hi, buddy. Hello, how are you? You are so delightful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was so lucky. I was so lucky that I got caught. I thought you were going to be our death buddy, but you might just be our savior. Look at you. <laughs> Look at them big stompy stomps. Oh, he's such a big boy. All right, we're going to go and get that uh, uh, treasure... Uh, the supply drop real soon. But we're going to take him back to our base. Uh, we'll leave him there for now. And we'll put him on neutral, just as a good defender. Uh, it'll be much better when we have a saddle. And in fact, I'm probably going to grind levels for a saddle and start looking to get us some metal and good stuff. Hi, boss! You want to say hi to Mint? <laughs> this is our new friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put you on... Um... Let's see, we want to put you on neutral. We don't want him to attack everything, but we want him to be able to defend himself. And you will stay here. Yeah, you hang out, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, that worked out way better than I thought it was going to. I thought, like, he was... <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Like, he came out to come get us. <laughs> we just happened to shoot him with the last arrow that we needed to knock him out. Oh my lord, we got so lucky with that. That was so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> craft all of these okay all right let's uh take a look at our smithy here we probably have quite a few ingots yes we do oh boy here we go and we gained some more levels oh man this is good we got a lot of good stuff going for us at the moment okay and i left a bunch of meat on minty so he should be able to feed himself no problem i'm gonna double check and make sure i did that because as I mentioned, you do want to make sure that your dinos have meat in their inventory. Um, so that way, or whatever they eat. So like for moss, it'll be berries. Uh, and then for minty, it'll be meat. Uh, and you just want to make sure they have enough to feed themselves. Because um, they'll do it all the automatically. If they're hungry, they'll eat. Which, you know, wish I had that reminder. But it's still useful. So we're going we're gonna to make use of it. 
Okay. Um. Right. Smithy table. That's what I was doing. Smithy. What did I need? Uh, some more stones. Do I have stones? I know. Luckily, we can just go hit a rock. Let's go hit a rock. Whew. Man. That worked out way better than I thought it was going to. Oh, what an amazing first pickup. I was expecting us to go for, like, a trike or, like, maybe some raptors later, but oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, what do we need? Carno. We need to get to 46, which we did talk about. Does the Carnotaurus saddle? I'm going I'm to look it up really quickly. All right, so I did check, and it does need a smithy, so this is good. This is uh, on our way. All right, Minty, guard the house. Moss, you too. There's a couple of drops right here. Well, this one specifically is what I want. Ooh, that blue one is very tempting. I probably should not go do that at nighttime, but blue is is better. Basically, the, the general quality of drops, as I understand it, is uh, there's these white ones, which is the one we're getting right now. There's blue, there's green, then there's blue, uh, then yellow, then red. I think red is the best you can get. And if it has a ring around it, then that means it's even better. Ooh, what do we get? Fiomia saddle. Not that exciting. Okay. I don't feel a strong need to keep a Fiomia saddle. Let's see. Oh, no. That was not what I meant to do. I need to move stuff around. I am super used to having my spyglass on six, so I keep doing that and accidentally drinking my water. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back on six. Alright. Uh, is it coming down? It might already be down. Can't tell. Either way, I'm not thrilled about going to try that, because there could be any number of things lurking in the forest, and nighttime is still scary in this game. Like, it's totally doable, but it's it's still scary. And as you can tell, it's really dark. Um, I will probably have to play with my own gamma settings, uh, so that way y'all can see better at home, actually. There we go, that's a, that's a little better. Looks a little funky on my end, but it looks better in the recording, so that's what we're gonna do. I hope that helps. Okay. So we didn't get anything super exciting out of that, but I'm still happy about our spyglass from earlier, and I'm still super happy about you, my little friend. Big friend. <laughs> the fun part is that that's not even the biggest friend we're gonna make. It's just gonna be... <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, right. Smith. What was I doing? Rocks. Smithy. We need this. Because we need the smithy also to make a new saddle for Minty. Uh, so we definitely want to be doing that. All good stuff. Okay. Did I accidentally make two smithies? I might I might have done. <laughs> I didn't realize I already had one. No, that's rough. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to put the smithy outside, actually. Requires placement on a floor. Boo. All right. Well, it's going to be crowded in here, and we're just going to live with it. Okay. Can I hit? Hit? Uh, how about here? And then we'll just rotate it. It'll look funky, but it'll work. And that's all we really need it to do. There, so we can access this still. And we can access the fire still. Yep, that's that's all I needed. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to make a second smithy, but I guess we have it now. Uh, Carno. Yeah, so that's where it is. So we'll need hide, which we have plenty of now. And we'll get even more now that we have minty because minty can gather a ton of hide like he's better at gathering fiber i'm uh, not fiber sorry i saw fiber and i said fiber he's better at gathering meat but uh definitely still worth it he's gonna need a lot of metal though so we're definitely going to want to go on some metal runs i think i might go investigate the river let's see what do we got here on the map okay so we might head toward the river in that direction or up through the forest possibly uh, because there are river rocks that tend to hold metal in them, so that might be worth uh, a consideration for us to go gather. Uh, still scary to go out at night, but probably a good idea uh, for us to at least start doing the metal runs, and we might we might just have to get over ourselves, which is spooky, but, you know, necessary. Okay, um, I'm gonna drop off a couple things, and then we're gonna go do some metal runs. Okay, I put up some light beacons, because uh, these are the S-plus torches, which do not require uh, any inventory, which is really nice. They're just there for lighting purposes. Uh, you can use actual standing torches to like produce like charcoal and stuff if you just leave materials in there, which can be useful for plenty of its, other, of its own cases. Um, 
But for our purposes, we really only need uh, the lighting to help guide us back. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard for us to find our way, but either way, we're going to go do this. Uh, we're going to leave our dinos there, but they're on neutral, so they will be able to defend themselves if anything does come and get them. Um, and honestly, I doubt there's not much bigger and badder uh, than our boy Minty, so I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. The only thing that would be a problem is if raptors came, but we're not going to be gone that long. What level are you? Level 7. Not as exciting. I mean, level doesn't super matter. Uh, it helps for strength purposes, and it helps, um, and it determines how long taming is going to take. Those are the main things we're considering it for, is a more entry-level player to this series. Uh, it matters more when you're a uh, higher-level player and you want better stuff, better drops, all that kind of stuff. Ooh. Okay. It's nothing great, but I mean, I'll take uh, extra storage boxes. That saves us the crafting time. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut through the forest since we're already right here. Oh, and stegos and parasaurs. Nice. Ahead and just scuttle over here. There's some more parasaurs. We're gonna keep an eye out for anything spooky, but generally should be okay. Yeah, there's probably gonna be some raptors over here. Ooh, there's a tech stego over there. That looks neat. I always like the tech creatures. I've seen some uh, older fans of the Ark franchise be like, eh, I don't really like these. Uh, I don't really like the tech creatures. It feels like too far of a departure from surviving in a dinosaur wasteland and all that kind of stuff, which I, I get. I don't personally agree with it, but I do get it. All right, there are a lot of raptors over here. And that spino is quite scary, so we really don't want to mess with that. We could, but we don't want to. Ooh, I'm almost tempted to get that level 5 raptor. It's not a high-quality raptor, but it is nice. Hmm. For now... Oop, the raptors are moving this way. We want to be careful. I was going to say we go into the river and try and grab some stuff while the spino's distracted, but we really don't want to mess with that. Not with that many raptors around. That was at least five, I think. At least five. Four or five. One of those. I'm not good at counting. I, I count enough to know it's a bad idea. That's, that's what I'm saying here. So we're going to go this way. We're going to look for rocks in the river because um, that's some of the easier ways to get metal early on. Uh, like, ideally you want to go into caves or like there's specific like uh, rocks that drop metal and that sort of stuff. Ooh, I think this is where we spawned originally, actually. That's fun. Ooh, a trilobite. I actually need a trilobite. Hello. Terribly sorry. Alright, we're not gonna hit the Dilophosaur. Not gonna hit the big boy. We're just trying to get this... Wow, you do so little damage. Ow, oh, alright. I don't wanna mess with that. It's one of those, they won't mess with us until we hit them, but I really don't wanna hit them. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Ooh, there's more raptors over here. Yeah, oh yeah, this is where we spawn. Oh my gosh, it's the, <laughs> the Megalosaurus stuck! Oh, nope, we're poisoned. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on. There we go, got him. Easy. Annoying, but easy. Yeah, the, when they spit at you, it doesn't, like, it hurts you a little bit, but the more important part is that it blinds you, which makes it more frustrating to deal with. What level are you? Are you worth trying to knock out? I, I really would like a raptor. It's very tempting. It's two and five over there. A low-level fairy is actually a decent proposition. You can raise any dino up from high levels. Again, as I mentioned before, the main reason you want high levels is for better starting stats for breeding or some such. It's not terribly important for, like, the casual player if you're just trying to, like, survive and build a cool base, which is sort of our uh, objective here. Can I swim in, grab this, and leave? It's a possibility. I'm a little scared about it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try. Actually, that's a little farther than I thought. <laughs> it's just like actually, never mind. On second thought, uh, I'm and yeah, on second thought, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Okay. Well, this is good to know. If we decide we want raptors, we can come back here pretty easily. Wouldn't it be too hard at that low a level, honestly. Oh, that's another terrible idea, but I mean, Minty was a terrible idea, and that worked out. I still haven't gotten any of the metal I came out here for. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna whack some rocks. Okay, we got a couple of metal pieces. It's gonna be hard, but we got a couple. Ooh, there's another raptor over here. You are actually by yourself. Yeah, there's only... Oh, no, no, you're not. Never mind. Never mind. 
Oh, I'm sorry, you're with the missus. You know what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't interrupt some a power lesbian couple. I really shouldn't. <laughs> oh boy. There's a bunch of theories over there. And the Megalodon is making... Oh, that's a level 55 Megalodon. That's even scarier, actually. <laughs> oh, no. I might have I might have come a little too far. I think we're gonna, gonna check our map super quick. Yeah, we need to we need to move back. This might be a little too spicy for me right now. Definitely thought about that raptor, but we do not have enough stuff to properly and safely defend ourselves, so we're not gonna do that right now. Like, we could do something. But it wouldn't be a good idea, you know what I mean? I will I will get us back to the base and I'll, I'll bring y'all back when we're, we're safe. And we made it back. All right, everybody's still in one piece. Minty, you good? Yep, nothing attacked. We're good. If any raptors do try and come over here, I was thinking about this on our way back, which luckily we weren't too far away. Uh, but if any raptors do come back, I feel like we could probably put everything on passive, maybe try and make a quick taming pin. We have enough resources that I actually think that would be worthwhile, and that would help get us the levels to get the saddle for Minty. Um, so I'm kind of thinking we might do that real quick. Drop off what little metal we found. It wasn't a lot, but we found some. That tech stego really helped, actually. Quite a bit. A few moments later. Okay, here's what we've done. Uh, I have made a bunch more trank arrows, and we probably still have a few narcotics that I can transfer over. Uh, I did make go ahead and make a raptor saddle, because uh, if we have one, then we'll be good. Uh, then I can just come back, grab it, grab the saddle, throw it on, and then be able to ride it out, which would be awesome. Uh, we have a bunch of meat to use to tame it. We're going to toss some of our rocks in here. Uh, I've gotten rid of anything that I am not okay to lose, so I'm keeping uh, like a little bit of stuff, uh, but mostly I'm trying to store as much as I can for safety Reasons, because I'm still scared to lose stuff. Like, stuff can be remade. It's fine, but it's still a pain. You know, if you've played a crafting survival type game, losing anything and getting that kind of set back is scary all the same. So I've made a couple of wooden door frames and a couple of foundations. What we're going to do is we're going to build a trap. We're going to put down two foundations and then we're going to surround it in door frames so we can see in, get out, and shoot. But most dinosaurs cannot walk through the door. As you may have noticed with moss, majority of dinosaurs, unless they are considered very small, cannot make it through regular human-sized doors, uh, which we're going to use uh, to our benefit. Thank you to all the art creators who have made... Uh, taming trap guides because that really helped uh, as a new player just learning how to actually build a trap that you can then lead the dino into it's still scary but you know and they can still hit you and your tames and stuff through the wall hey look foreshadowing fun i'm gonna go double check and make sure we have all the narcs we need and then i think we're gonna start scouting out down this way i believe this is where the raptors were uh, if we could get at least one uh that would be cool i wouldn't mind getting both but I don't know if I have enough narc arrows for that. Uh, that's just going to take a lot of grinding to make sure we have the narco berries and the spoiled meat that we need uh, in order to keep crafting stuff. Mostly narco berries, but luckily Moss will be able to help with that. Okay, so that puts us at 18 trank arrows, which is probably good enough. We've only seen some lower level raptors around here. Um... I don't even know if we'll need the trap. If we get lucky and manage to, like, you know, find a rock that they can't climb very easily and stuff, we can safely shoot from up there. Um, but we want to navigate as carefully as possible. Because they can definitely wreck our butts. And I don't want to die again. Like, I understand dying early on is a hard life out here, but I was, I was doing okay before then. Gathering fiber and wood and thatch and berries was just a joke after having a theory. They're super duper handy. But we're still on the on the hunt for these raptors. Ideally we don't trigger the theories, because again they will wreck our shit and they have a very long pursuit distance, which is what makes them the scariest. Um so if they start aggroing on you, like eventually a raptor or a dillo will leave you alone. A fairy will not. So we definitely don't want to get within touching distance of a theory if we can at all help it. It almost might be better if we go further down this beach and try and trigger the raptors to chase us into our trap further down here. So I think we're going to try that. But 
Okay, so here is our completed trap. We have uh, two ramps leading up uh, to the top. Depending on how flat your surface area is, you may only need one. Uh, we have two uh, foundations. You could probably use wood or stone for a little more stability, um, but I'm just using thatch for easiness. And then we're using slightly sturdier wood door frames so that way uh, the dinos can't destroy them as quickly. So that's the idea here. We have 26 trank arrows and we have a bunch of meat on us. Um, we're gonna go try and lure one or both of the raptors into the pin. That's sort of the goal here. Um, we're gonna try and do it without aggroing the fairies. That's the only catch to this entire problem. Because everything else on this beach is either scared of us or won't bother us, but if we get too close to the fairies, it's gonna be a problem. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and stay hydrated. Over after don't care about you. Okay, so here's our ramp. The idea is that we're going to run into the ramp. We can run through here and then dive through here and then they will get caught in here. Ideally, I don't think raptors need a double tall because I don't think they can jump it that easily. Maybe they can, but I don't think so. We're, we're gonna probably presume not. They might go for this trike instead. Uh, these theories are really making me nervous, but unfortunately this is where our trap is built, so we might just try and lure them over. Let's see, let's take a look. One more look. Um, oh, 20. Didn't realize you were level 20. And you're level 13. Hmm. I will take quite a bit, but it would be really good if we could get them. I'm almost tempted to tame that fairy that's stuck in the bushes over there. Because, they're again, as mentioned, fairies are super good. They're very powerful. Those big claws can do a lot of melee damage as a defensive monster and also as an aggressive. But it just kind of depends what you want. Not gonna lie, if we got a fairy in this trap, I'd be pretty pleased. But I'm not aiming to do that. <laughs> fairies are apparently quite scary. And the last time I did it, I had friends. I'm disinclined to try it by myself. I wouldn't mind getting him in another episode, though, so maybe. But right now, I think we're going to try and stay focused on these on these raptors. The raptors will probably follow us for a while, so I think we're going to try that. Uh, are you, you having a problem over there? Ark be arkin', I tell ya. <laughs> it is a silly game. Okay, let's... Get our bow out. That's not our bow. This is the bow. Okay. We got a trink arrow knocked. Where did they go? Up here. Hello. Yep. They spotted us. We're just gonna run straight. Ideally, they will be following us. Yep. And we go through the double rocks. Up the ramp. Yep. Come on in, fellas. Uh-oh. They immediately ran through the door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh! reevaluate our plan but uh if you enjoyed this episode of arc survival evolved uh definitely hit a like button and let me know what you thought about it if you want to leave a comment let me know too uh i am open to friendly arc advice so i'm not very good at this game but we're just going to acknowledge that i'm not very good at it and that's okay but if you want to give me some friendly advice or tips uh, i sure would appreciate it definitely open to that uh, and definitely, if you're interested in seeing the rest of this series, as, you know, I go from filthy casual scrub to master of the island, uh, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you around. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope you have a good one. We're gonna go ahead and respawn uh, at base here. Uh, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye! stuff. I'd like to try and get it back. It's probably not gonna work out though. Damn. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. These raptors could go through. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Cool. <laughs>